Hey there, everyone. JV Productions back with another fun episode. This week, we're going to... Since, well, since I haven't made a video in a while, that's because I got a new laptop, I got new software, and I got a new microphone, which is why my... Which is why you can hear my voice a lot better. So, to kick... To kick this celebration, or whatever you want to call it, to kick it off, I decided let's do some After Effects, since I did get After Effects. So, let's start from, well, what we're going to be doing is, I have a, I have a clip, and we're going to make, we're going to turn that clip and make lightning out of it. Like, well, here, just look. We're gonna add a lot of crazy special effects to it. Um. Here, watch this. All right, so we'll make something similar to that. So. I'll just open up my footage here. If I go to my project tab and double click on the empty space, open up my import window. Let's see, which one is it? It's this one. So find your footage, wherever it is. Mine's right here. I'm going to drag it to the new composition icon to create a composition. All right, so here it is. So since we don't have too much time. I'm just we're just gonna make lightning c be coming out of my mouth. So go through your clip and find the part where you where you want the lightning to start. I want my lightning to start right there. So here I will select my movie clip layer and press Shift Command D. And what that'll do is split the layer. Now let's find out. Now go to the rest of your clip and see where you want the lightning or special effect to stop. Whoops, bastard. All right, I want mine to stop there. So the same thing. Press Shift Command D. Okay, so now we have three different layers. And our middle layer is the one that we want to set the effect on because here look as you can see this middle layer is where we want is where my, I'm st uh, my head's back and I'm opening my mouth for lightning so go to effect whoops gotta select your layer first effect generate and hit advanced lightning then so you can see what we're doing click composite on original now, I'm going to take my, well, first, let me go to the very beginning of this clip. Whoops, past it. There. So, I'm going to take my origin. I'm going to put it in my mouth. And I'll take my direction, and I'll put it up. Okay? Now, we want to set keyframes for both of these things so click the stopwatches and also one more thing um twirl down your conductivity state and make sure it's at zero wait f first click the keyframe to set it at zero and scroll to the very end of your clip the very last frame and then bump it up the conductivity state is what makes your lightning move because how boring would that be just to have s still lightning alright so go back to the beginning alright so now what you're gonna do is just sc scroll through each frame and adjust your origin and direction so I'll, let me just do that right now Okay. okay. All right. 
right halfway through our clip. Okay. All right, and that's the end. So, if we go to the very beginning of our clip, we don't even have to go to the very beginning. We we'll just start here. So you can see how cool and real that looks. And let's say you don't like the default blue lightning. Well, scroll down your glow settings, and you can mess with all your settings: the glow radius, glow opacity, and glow color. I'll take the glow color, and let's do something out of the ordinary. Let's try some red lightning nice bright red whoops you can't see it all right let's take the glow opacity down a little bit to about about 30 35 percent and actually you know what that still seems a little too much around 30 looks pretty good now one more thing you can mess with is the turbulence and forking the forking is all those all those little tiny strands of lightning that come out so if you so look if I turn my forking up see there's a lot more tiny strands of lightning I'm gonna bring that to around 50 and the turbulence is those bigger strands and the thickness and power of your lightning. So I'll take that up a little bit as well to show you. If I take it up a lot, you can see that's crazy. That's a lot of action. But you know what? Just just to make it look cool, I'll leave it like that. All right, so now you can save your file or you can export it, but I already have all this made. And if you want, you can add some text or whatever you want. But if we preview it, I mean, that's pretty much it. It's so simple. And After, after Effects makes it very, very easy. But you just got to know what you're doing. And if you want to use this again without, if you want to use this, all these presets again, but of course you will change your origin and direction. Like if you like the red lightning and how it looks and everything, you can go into your animation presets and save selections save selection as animation presets and it also comes with these two horizontal and vertical lightning so that's pretty much it see you next time